Hello, welcome back to a Punishing Grey Raven video. My name is Lace and today I'm going to be covering how to get on each of the servers. I decided the other day, I was like, I can't, I need to play PGR. And so I was like, why don't I just get everyone else to play with me? And so that brought about this video. Before we get started, I do want to mention that I'm going to be regularly making PGR content. For everyone who's new to the channel, again, I'm Lace and I make pre-con videos. I try to be smart, be optimal, be efficient with like the gameplay and everything. I try to just offer advice and guides and stuff like that. Hopefully I can do the same for PGR and continue on when global releases. From here, I'm just going to try to make resources that are going to be very useful when global comes out. Otherwise, I'm not going to commit too hard on to my Taiwan account. Like, I'm not going to probably buy anything yet. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the instance I'm going to be using is Mikoto. All right, let's have a quick look at the specs of this. So this is at 1600 by 1900 at 240 DPI. The engine is running in performance mode, OpenGL, and we've got, I think, two cores and one gigabyte of RAM. I'm probably going to bump this up to two gigabytes. And the reason is because when I played the Taiwan, it was like, oh, you don't have enough RAM. You need at least two gigs. So I'm like, okay, well, I better do this then. All right, 60 FPS. Let's save that and let's go. Otherwise, it's just your standard Nougat 64-bit instance. So if I was to make that from scratch, I would just go new instance, fresh instance, Nougat 64-bit next. And then I'll probably go like um, two to four cores. I'm just going to go two, two gigs of RAM. And then everything else kind of default here. I would smash that create button and then that would create me Mikoto here. All right, with that out of the way, let's hit start and let's see what we can do to get into the servers. All right, guys for some reason my Makoto instance is not loading up. I'm going to make a new instance, fresh instance, 64 bit. I'm going to go for, let's go four CPU cores. Let's go two gigs of RAM and everything else default. And then I'm just going to create that. All right, with that, I'm just going to hit start and then we're going to actually get this guy. All right, guys, as you can see, this is a fresh install, a fresh emulator. I'm going to click out of that. I'm going to go to my games and I've got nothing here. So the first thing I actually need to do is let's open up Chrome. So that's the browser over here. And then in the web address or search, we're going to look for crew app. I think an alternative to crew app is actually tap tap which you can also use so if i was to go tap tap let's try that one tap tap and this is probably the app that i'm talking about the tap tap mobile client however i've predominantly used cool app so i'm just going to stick with what i know so you just click into cool app and what we're going to do here is we're kind of like actually downloading another app store all right so that didn't actually work i just went back to google and then i typed in crew app download and then we've got the package over here so i'm just going to click on that and hopefully it will send me to the download page this is it guys all right and then so we've got a download crew app button over here on the right hand side if you click that it's going to to download the APK. Uh, yeah, it could harm my device, but you know, for PGR, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it. Now that I've downloaded it, I'm going to hit open and then it's going to no special access. All right, I'll take that. You know, sometimes we take our wins. App is installed. We open this bad boy up and hopefully we will have this is it. This is the crew app. All right. So here, what we can do is actually sign in to crew app with one of these accounts, or you can hit that double down arrow and you can reveal a guest icon. So I'm just going to click the guest because I don't want to log in right now. This is going to lead us to the crew app menu. And then so from here, we're going to hit search and then we're going to look for punishing gray raven so guys what we've essentially done is actually install a kind of like a new app store it's similar to like the app store from apple or like the play store from google except this one is specialized in delivering like overseas games like cn jp kr taiwan stuff like that so as you can see here let me make that a little bit bigger for you guys you can see that there are three pgr versions so we have simplified chinese japanese and traditional chinese so i think this is actually a good time to stop and just pause for a second to tell you what is on each server they were all released on different release dates the original server is actually the simplified Chinese, which is the Chinese server. After launching the Chinese server, they then launched the Taiwanese server, which is the traditional Chinese one. After that, Japanese was released and it is the most recent one until global comes out. So I think you guys know what that means. If you want like the most content, the most up-to-date kind of version, you're going to be going with simplified Chinese. Otherwise, both Japanese and traditional Chinese are good, but do remember that they are lagging behind simplified Chinese. The thing about the Chinese server is that you have to go through a couple of hoops to actually like register on it. I think they use like social security numbers or something like that and you gotta use that or else you can't play the game as for the japanese server all they need is the vpn so you can actually just download like a japan vpn and then if you connect through that and then launch the pgr japanese you'll be able to get on the game lastly with traditional chinese the taiwanese server it actually requires nothing which is why it is the one that i chose it required actually like no setup at all and all you had to do was click into it and then install it and then away you went i'm just going to do exactly that let's test this one out first and then i might come back and try to do the other two all right so just slap that one and then let's freaking 
can go download 2.51 gigs so let's allow that and then we are going to wait for it to download the download interface is down at the bottom and i will come back when the download is finished while this is downloading i actually forgot to mention something and it's that between all three of the servers the taiwanese server is actually the only one that gives you a six no three no a no s s rank selector what an s rank selector is is it's essentially like a token in which you can exchange for a s rank character of your choice i will show you guys how to redeem that but i think that is the only server that actually gets it but i guess it's kind of for that reason that i would actually recommend going onto the taiwanese server not to mention that it's also the easiest to get on all right the download is almost done we're at about like 500 megs left but what i'm going to actually do is go and pick up the vpn so i'm going to actually try to do the uh, japan version so if we hop over back to the google play app store here i'm going to have to sign in so you guys just have to sign in with your details i'm going to pause the video here and get past this because i don't want to get hacked my dudes all right so now i am in here we are going to look for open vpn and this should pop up with the app and that looks about right so i'm going to hit install on this one and while we're waiting for that i am going to actually hop over here and go over to this website it's called vpn gate you see here vpngate.net slash en what this is is it's a bunch of public vpns that are available for us to use this features a lot of vpns such as like japan and i'm just gonna pick one at random kind of like uh I'm, I'm looking for like low usage uh maybe 25 sessions total of 88,000 users that's not too much compared to like 600k users all of this is looking pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this or like remember this when we're gonna get into open vpn remember that this step is for japan and not for taiwan so i'm gonna go back to crew app and hopefully PGI is going to be finished. All right, we've got the install button here. So let's hit that button and hopefully it will install the file. We'll be back when the file has finished installing. Do remember that it is two and a half gigs. So this might take a while. Don't be scared. It, like, don't think that it's crashing or anything. All right, so we're back and it's taking us to this screen. Do you want to install this application? Yes, I do. So I'm going to hit install down here. All right, install complete. Let's open this bad boy up and hopefully we'll just go like right into it. So I'm going to hit okay. It's got preset controls over here. Actually, there are a couple of things that I would recommend doing for this one. All right, it's weird that it's still telling me that I need two gigabytes of memory. So something cool in BlueStacks is that you can do Control Shift L and it does a real time translation. So what it does is it takes a picture of the actual prompt and then it will translate it and show you. Current device running memory is lower than 2048 MB. Continue, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we, we continue. So this one, this means that we go, we do it. All right, and hopefully this is going to download and we will be in the game very, very shortly. All right, and the game is about to finish patching. So hopefully we'll be able to get into the game after this if we do then it's success and we can move on to japan oh my lord okay there's actually another 913 megabytes that i have to wait to download i'll be right back guys i will see you guys in 913 megabytes in the meantime i'm just gonna kill off my friend mikoto goodbye like your instance is dead bro just actually dead to me man all right guys we are back and the patch has finally finished i think that took me like half an hour i think my internet was being a little bit funky but here we go all right we got three options to log in here i'm obviously gonna pick guess you know i i like to live life on the edge a little bit let's smash that and let's accept that okay then i think we can log straight in and we're actually going right into the game right now i'm just gonna skip everything because i just want to show you guys how to get that selector so i think it's probably gonna make me do a lot of things i'm probably not gonna be able to like skip the tutorial so i'm just gonna come back and i will see you guys when I'm able to actually enter the code and I will show you guys the selector. All right, so I'm finished with the tutorial now, but they forced me to do one one. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into your profile, which is at the top left-hand corner. And then down here, you see this box here, as well as this black box. I'm gonna click into this box. It's actually a text entry. I'm gonna type in GR777. This is case sensitive. So you do need the capital GR. And then I'm gonna hit this black button right after. Bam, and that is an S selector. All right, so when you're ready to use that selector, all you have to do is come into this menu down here and then you go into i think the yep the third one and then the s selector will be here so if i click on this you will see the available characters that we can get so it's recommended that you actually save this and then you use it as a later date so first you should actually unlock the banners roll on the beginner banner 40 times and then get an s from that because you get a guaranteed s and then go back and use the selector on the character that you didn't get or a character that you didn't get but yeah that kind of concludes the taiwanese version of this guide let's move on to the japanese let's see if it works as well i'm just going to close this off off and goodbye so i'm back in crew app i'm gonna go back and then i'm gonna go back again and then i'm gonna go search uh i'm gonna go home here and then search for punishing gray raven again um so search history actually right here search history 
and then Punishing Grey Raven, and then I'm going to look for the Japanese server, and then I'm going to download this one. So that's another 2.39 gigs. This might take a while again. As with before, I will see you guys when this finishes downloading. All right, guys, and we are back. So we have the JP version ready to install. So I just came back in, and this is what it looked like. So I'm just going to hit that install button, and hopefully in a few seconds, it will just be installed. And there we go. All right, after that, I'm actually going to hit done and not open. And the reason is because I need to actually load up that VPN that I was talking about before. And then I'm going to open this open VPN connection. So it looks like we've got this open VPN policy. Let's agree to that. And then it's asking us for a URL. All right, guys. So I lost the footage for the open VPN part. So if we go over to open VPN, uh, you see this profiles here. So what we needed to actually do is we actually needed to import profile. However, my URL actually did not work. So all we had to do was go to the browser and then we go to vpngate.net slash en slash. We pick one of these VPNs. I picked public VPN 138. I come over here and then there's an open VPN config file. I'm going to click that. So this web page will load and then I come down here and I'm going to download this configuration file. So I'm just going to click that and it's going to download it. Click download. I'm going to click open and then it's going to bring up OpenVPN again and then I'm going to hit OK here. So I want to import this profile. OK. After this profile is imported, I'm just going to tick this box, connect after import and then I'm going to click add. And then so now it's thinking and hopefully it will work and I am connected. All right, guys, this is awesome. So it looks like I've managed to connect to a Japanese public VPN via this OpenVPN. I should go back to home and I'm going to launch the Japanese Punishing Grey Raven here. And I'm going to click OK here and then hopefully this game will finally load. Okay, okay. We're going, we're going. Let's see if it's going to let us in. So I hope this actually works because this is actually my first time trying it. And it was the reason why I went to Taiwan server because I couldn't get it to work the first time. So I just skipped the cutscene. It's telling me the same thing. I need two gigabytes of RAM. I'm just going to say yeah. And let's see if it lets us download. All right. So I haven't seen this before. I'm going to hit the control shift L to translate. 160 megs by all means my dude let's freaking go all right this is going really slow with the vpn so i might actually try turn off the vpn and see if it makes it any better so i'm going to disconnect i'm going to say okay and i'm going to come back to pgr and see if it's going to reconnect hopefully maybe it'll reconnect yes it'll reconnect and hopefully it'll go faster and it is going a little bit faster a little bit faster. All right, guys, as you can see, it's actually going faster and hopefully we can get this 160 megabytes downloaded ASAP. I suspect there will be another download after this, but we'll see what happens, all right? So I'll see you guys when this hits 100%. All right, guys, it looks like it's finished downloading. So it looks like this is just an agreement. I'm not gonna translate that and read it and I'm gonna hit this one. I think that is accept. All right, so I'm just gonna tap on the menu and hopefully it will let me in. Okay, it's not gonna let me in. It's not gonna let me in because I forgot to turn on my VPN. I'm gonna hop back over to open VPN and I'm gonna turn on the one that worked hopefully this will connect please please don't fail me now it's thinking it's thinking and we are connected all right so with that i'm gonna hop back over to pgr i'm gonna tap it again please just let me in don't think too much about it oh oh it's thought about it oh and it let me in Guys, I'm in. I'm freaking in. All right, let me skip that and let me see if I can actually get into the game and do some gameplay stuff. You know what I mean? Like, there's the wifer. She's she's looking a little um a little beat up, but there's the wifer. And if I can successfully get into the game, then this will prove that the VPN method that we just did worked. And look, it did. This is actually great. I'm very happy that I managed to get this to work this time. I'm just gonna, oh, my keyboard bindings aren't working here. All right, so bizarre. I might have to reconfigure the keyboard bindings, but like essentially I've just shown you guys that this works. Like we're in, we're in JP and we are using the VPN and we can play. So from my understanding, you can actually turn off the VPN after you've entered the game. According to the community, I think the Japanese server only checks for your IP at the very start of the game. After we get past that, I believe we can actually turn it off and keep playing. Hopefully that works for you guys, but I can't try it right now because I can't even, I can barely move this and it's going to take me a while to actually clear everything. And all right, for some reason, my controls are working now. So let's like actually make it all the way through and I will test that theory of if we are able to turn off the VPN and still continue playing. All right, we are back over here. You guys already know what time it is. We're about to get our ass whooped by Alpha. So let's just, let's just get our ass whooped. I mean, I would take an ass whooping from that. All right, skipping ahead. You guys already know what it is. So I'm just going to try get back to the main menu. I'm going to finish the 1-1 one, one, and then I'm going to try disconnect from the VPN and keep playing. All right, guys, I have successfully finished 1-1. One, one, so let's go back to the main menu. And then so we're here. It looks like we've got some banners and stuff going on, but that's not what I really want to know. I, what I really want to know is this. I'm going to go over to open VPN. I'm going to disconnect from this. Okay. 
and then I'm going to try going to a stage after that. Let's see if it lets me go into one, two after disconnecting from the VPN. So let's go now and let's see if it's gravy. All right, skip, 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 skip. It's loading. So it's connecting to the server and we are groovy, I think. So I'm going to try finish this stage and then that will really tell us if we are able to do this. I just really want to make sure, guys. I just really want to make sure. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you guys, especially when this is like my first PGR video. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the stage. All right, so the stage is ending now, I believe, and we are going to see if we disconnect or not. I, I don't think we will. I, I really hope not because that would make me look like an idiot. All right, so the awards came through and we are going to go. Uh, we got to level up. Okay, so it looks like it's definitely connected to the server. I'm going to click some buttons and I, I really think we've done it. I think we've done it, guys. I think we've done it. All right, guys, let's conclude the video there. I think that was quite comprehensive. I personally am not going to cover the CN version because I don't think it's worth the hassle having to like create the social IDs or whatever or like use somebody else's. I want to kind of keep it straight and like, you know, using a VPN is not like it's like, doing the dodgy. But if there are any of you out there that do know how to actually make the Chinese logins, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would drop the steps down below. All right, guys, with that being said, you guys now have two choices if you want to try out PGR. You guys can come onto the Japanese server or the Taiwan server. I'll be on the Taiwan server. Yo, guys, look what i found in the mail they actually send you out with the ssr ticket oh my lord oh if only i saw this a little bit earlier okay i'm gonna collect that let's go see if it is the same characters so let's go in here and let's have a look and it is the exact same it's actually exactly the same whether you start on jp or taiwan it's just that jp sends it into your mailbox whereas taiwan you need to enter the code well then i guess i can't recommend taiwan or jp it's just a matter of language preference at this point that's so interesting i'm so glad that i caught it like i saw it as i was turning this game up i was like i've got to collect my rewards you know all right let's wrap up the video there i think that's already long enough again my name is lace i have 45 years in gacha gaming experience and i will be uploading more of pgr videos i've got a secret question for you guys if you guys are coming on and actually going to use this guide are you going to come on jp or taiwan i know there are a lot of jp speakers and that actually like really helps because honestly i can't read most of this like whether it be chinese or japanese but yeah drop your answer down in the comments below and it'll be interesting to see where y'all end up with that being said though if this video was helpful or mildly entertaining consider like a like or a sub or a follow or a, a pin maybe but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye